Okay, so right now we're in a 10 minute tournament and um, I'm gonna play the whole tournament. And um, you know, we're gonna commentate the games. Um, welcome to the New York Chess Club. Um, hmm, okay, this is a very simple opening. When you're actually growing with me, and um, we should be able to grow together from beginner to master. Um, in the future, I'm gonna make a new account and I'm gonna go from 1500 to 2200 with that account. And I'll post other things on the channel also. But the main thing is to study. Um, okay. Do I want to try Rui Lopez in this opening? And not, I'm not going to... Okay, let's just go. See how this goes. See if he goes on D6 or not. Sometimes they go D4. Let me bring this knight out. Maybe I should have castled. So, we'll study lines like this. I'll pay close attention to the videos and to the openings that I do to make sure I keep a theme on the channel. With black, it's usually always the Carol Khan. Um, I rarely do anything else like King's Indian or Sicilian or anything. Unless it's just a wild opening. Okay, so this is... Well, this is actually a favor for me, I believe. That night to E7... I don't think that was the best move in this position. And um, maybe castling wasn't the best move for me. Maybe h3 would have been better. That's all right. Hmm. Do I have a... Ooh-wee. I almost have a checkmate on him. No, I don't. Let me see. Check. Let me see if he... I want to see what he does. This is an old move where you sacrifice the um queen for the checkmate. If my bishop was here when he did, oh, I could still do it. <laughs> oh, can I? Let me see. Boom. He's going to definitely take the queen, then it's checkmate. Wow, he fell for that. Let's see if it worked. He, oh, no, he doesn't have to take the queen. He could take the bishop. He could take the knight. I think he'll take the queen, though. Y'all want to go for it? If I take e5, if he take it back with um the knight, I'll be mad. So it doesn't work. Uh, no, it doesn't work. Cute. That's when you take e5 and then, oh, he's messing up. So he's definitely going to go queen side. So let me hit this queen side as fast as I can. He's going to lift that queen and go queen side. Yes, he is. Try to get in his face early. See if he hang that knight in the center or if he puts it on the A5. Yeah, I figured that much. He still be chill. He can't take anything right now. Um, let me get this black bishop developed before I try. Plus, I got to get, get that knight out of there. This is going to be interesting. Once he um, gave up that F pawn for that E. I knew it. Okay. Can I afford to let him push that? Hmm. That's the question. Now I can take the E pawn, so he made a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. Because he left that pawn hanging right there. And I'm not going to miss it, my friend. Okay, so and that's another mistake. Now I'm forking a queen and a rook. So I'm definitely going to take the, queen, the rook and the... I don't know if I'm going to take the free rook or not. Oh, he gave me the queen. He's not paying attention. All right, so I want to win this tournament. Thank you, sir. Um, I want to win this. I want to come in first place with this account. Then I'll make another account for the New York Chess Club, but I'll share this on there. Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're going to get content. Um, I'm a good teacher at the game. I'll say that. And everything else will speak for itself. Main thing is we're growing together. And um, let me know in the comments if it's beneficial. Hit the sub. Thank you. Let's go. <clears throat> right now, when you. Okay. Okay, what you going to do? Okay. Me, um, he's a little stronger than the last guy, so let me be careful. 
His rating is 1988. That last guy probably just started the game. Okay. So I don't want to lose because I want to take see how high I can take this rating off also. Even though I'm gonna make a new one. Okay, so we brought let me bring my knight out, see if he brings a knight out. So I'm in a different, so I'm gonna go into like a slob then. Cause he forced me into the Yes, he did. To where you close the bishop behind the pawn chain. It's a real passive opening. Really, really. Um. All right. I'm gonna have to fight. We're gonna have to. We, it's gonna be a fight along this e file. As far as I can tell it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get the rook there, and I'm gonna get ready to. Get the e5, e pawn push. It's very important for me to get that push. Very. So right now I can even develop the queen, and I'm, that push is still there. Okay. That's what usually happens. He's gonna have to trade though, or he's gonna have to push that f pawn. And that's just gonna weaken his king side enough for me to find something. I thought he would push it. Okay. So let me look at this. Cause I have good protection on that um E6 pawn. So I can always push this F pawn and dislodge. So he did too much to protect that knight, in my opinion. Because I can always make it move. <clears throat> um I just want to see where I wanna put where I wanna put this knight I have. Um I got time to put it here. Not really blocking the bishop out the game. Get his knight out the way. Probably take my knight back to f sit f8 just to protect that little hole that I'm gonna make on the white side of my king. So that's how you got to got to look at the position. You know, you gotta see your weaknesses in the position, and that's what I feel is good. That's what I'm gonna do. I think he's gonna take the knight on um, c6. Maybe he'll let me chase him away. He should bring out his black bishop, maybe. Okay. That was a good move. Oh, yeah, okay. Good move. So he kind of forced me to take the knight. <clears throat> he forced me to take it with the queen. And we just play a different type of game. But yeah, he forced me to take the knight. That was a good move. He definitely forced... No, he didn't. <clears throat> Pardon me. Did he force me to take that thing? I think he did. He didn't give me a choice at all. Okay. So now I gotta find a way to develop this white bishop without wasting too many moves. Oh, what a terrible game for me. Seriously. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. I gotta stop smoking weed. Now I know I'm not putting this on my channel. Maybe the rook needs to go back to where it was at. That's what needs to happen. That that little campaign is over. Now I need to get back on this F file and start pushing these F pawn. Oh, he's going. For, he's trying to be saucy. If I take that, he think he has a checkmate, but he doesn't. Watch this. He doesn't have checkmate. I don't think so. Cause I have that move right there to block out the bishop. And if he does impassant, then the knight comes and that stops the check. That was a bad move he made. Okay, I'm still okay though. Stop playing with the kids, shun. Huh? No, I'm not okay. Can I step up? I better. He's going to take the pawn with the bishop. That's okay. I'm going to take the bishop with the rook. That's how it goes, kid. He get back. Put a little pressure on that queen. Get ready to protect my king. He ain't even see it. Got him. Slipped him. Yeah, thank you, sir. He sacrificed a piece, so I got two pieces for the rook. I was going to protect my king and get him anyway. So I'm in 12th place. It's 294 of us. 
I'm talking about weed, so I know I'm, I gotta stop. I don't want the people on my other ministries to. But I know I gotta stop that stuff. I shouldn't have let battle rap see that in me, but it's okay. God is good. You know, I do my job. But in that stuff, that actually is my job. Like, I don't get high on my blogs when I'm giving people content. People not coming to watch. You know, when, when it's entertainment, then I, people, other people are doing it on their own show, then that's different. But I don't do that on my channel. That's a fact. Okay, shit, I, I want to go with a default opener this time. And I'm going to try a system called the London system. Um, and this system, the purpose of this system, if the person goes for it the way it's, a, like he's doing, he's playing it, you know, he's playing it through a good way. It's aimed to exchange that H-bomb for the black bishop. Um... But they bring out that white bishop and going into a Carol Khan is a good way to play the London. He was going to go into a Carol Khan though. He just did a funny, he just brought his bishop out first. He did a slob, just brought the way, he did a funny move on it. But that's, that's what I'm saying, that's the best way to fight the London. Because you get that time to bring that white bishop out without having to make that C6 push. That's a fact. I gotta remember that against any deep pawn opening. Man, I just learned something from this guy. I gotta watch him. Okay, let me develop. I'm gonna play this different now. It looks like it's beneficial for him to take that because it looks like it hits my queen and all that. But it'll be very bad for him to exchange that central pawn for a C pawn. You shouldn't do that. That's why I made that move. He he really as a mass as a strong player, he can't take that. You give up your central pawn for a C pawn. That's very bad. Then that allows me to make the E4 push. And that allows me to put two pawns in the center. Okay, let me castle before he get two. Um, beside himself over there on my knight. I don't mind exchanging that knight and, and putting another pawn in the center. I'll try to pick off both of his pawns. Cause I'm about, now I'm about to, okay, he did, he did an intermediate move. But he still exchanged the central pawn for a C pawn. Now his center is bare. And I could throw two pawns right in the center. I can even exchange that may have to he probably take it back with the pawn he should have he would have diffused everything i just did now i have a two pawn center it's very strong very now i probably get these rooks in good positions see what i'm like? okay so he's doing that he's not even going to take the time to castle i want to stay in this area I can, so let me just fall back here, protect this loose pawn, put the queen somewhere safe. Maybe get these rooks on this C file. Or I should get these rooks on, I should I should go, um, man, I want to go rook to A4 so bad. But he could just push. I can't pawn, well, what is this king doing? Maybe I'll play on the F file. Maybe I'll stop him from ever put, but then, because he can't attack the pawn. Um, I could play on the F file. That's what I'm going to, no, let me do something more solid. What can I do now? Um, Let me get ready to play on this F file. See if I can get this F4 push. Then go to F5. First I'll go pawn E5, then I'll push push my way to F5. So if he, I want to see how he responds to that. If he does something passive, I want to see if he tries F4. Okay, I didn't think he would. I should go F5. Nah, he, but he knows I want to F, go F5, so he's 
Oh, he wants to push the pawn. Let me stop that. Okay, let me move my king over so I can make this f5 safely. This f4 safely. Without that pawn being paired. He knows that's what I want to do. He knows the principles of the game and the, probably the best file to attack. Okay, should I put, can I chase that knight? No, because then I don't want to give him knight to, um, I don't want to give him knight to d5 at all. So I should just go f5 now. And this, or, I can get a strong, before I even mess with the position, I can get a strong outpost with this knight. I'm going to do it. I'm going to play right. f5 doesn't really make sense. Because even if I get f4, he can always go e5. And it's, it's not going to make sense. It's better to just get a good, if you can't find any, you just shouldn't throw pieces at the king for no reason, just to push pieces. If you can't find a good plan, say, okay, I'll just find a good a good square for my piece. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this knight on c5. And that's a real good square for that knight and it creates a threat because e4 to e5 becomes a threat because if this knight moves, then I have the knight, I have the knight fork on d7, forking his rook and his queen. So he has to be careful. <clears throat> yeah. And um, even when I share things on the site, it'll be more professional. But uh, I'm still share it on this channel. But this right here is deep. I, the ten minute games be deep, man. When I really get to talk about the game, and it teaches me. But not many people can play and teach because they don't know. They just somebody taught them. They might not know the principles. They just studied them and memorized a lot of patterns. But I have raw knowledge from a grandmaster that I stayed with for a long time. This is a good position. That's where I wanted that night. I'm way better than people that, that's that been playing all of their life. Because a grandmaster just was kind to me, man. He just taught me everything about this game. It's time for that night to go, isn't it? Nah, I like the position. Just F5 is looking pretty good now. I ain't playing. It's looking sexy now, man. That's looking pretty sexy right there. I figured he was going to get scared of that. I should take. I don't want to take. I want to protect. Um, I don't want to take. I like his knight. My knight is stronger than his. And, and that's and that's what when you plan it on this level of chess, you don't just think like, should I take? You think like, which piece is stronger? Now, if, if I now if I back my knight up to d3, it'll be able to. It's protecting. It'll be. It can still jump. But his knight is on d7. I can put back my knight up here, and my knight is a little stronger than his knight on d7. His knight on d7 is blocking the rook in. It can't move anywhere. My knight is allowing me to make that f5 push, and it's preventing him. It's allowing me to make the f5 push, and it's preventing him from doing something at the same time. That was a good move. That was a really good move. So he's not allowing me to make that f5 push. I should ignore that. Can I ignore that? What if I ignore that and just make the f5 push? And he takes it. Then I take on um, e6. Then he takes back f7, takes e. It's not good for me. What if, okay, so the only thing I could do is go queen to f2. That's my best move. It's passive, though. But this is my best move. He made a good move. I ain't even going to front. <clears throat> he made a good move. I think he's going to push the pawn again. That's okay. Okay, yeah. It's okay. Now he's going to move that knight and really protect that pawn. He's going to really attack. But once he moves the knight, then I jump back. Where my, so he's, he can never take that pawn. So that's the trick of my position, and that's why I went into it. Because if he moves the knight and tries to attack the pawn, thinking I can't defend it, I just jump the knight back to c5. We can actually draw the game in this position. On the master level, they will make a mistake and draw this. Or they would do that. They would they would draw it. Okay, so he moved off of that pawn. So should I rather, huh? I'm rather I'm rather surprised by that. Hmm. That was a good move too. Should I push the pawn and just solidify that and just make sure the F on the F5 push is solid? I can push the pawn. 
He might bring the queen in my house, though. Then they'll just have to... Oh, man, that'll be a good move. I would have to think real solid. I would probably have to retreat my knight if he did that. I'd probably have to go knight to b4 if he brought that queen to e4. He should have brought that queen to e4. But I would have, he should have, though. That would have been a good move. Now, uh, me taking that isn't good, but me pushing the pawn. Now, in this position, I've been talking about f5 this whole game. I want f5. And there's a reason I knew that push, because I knew at this point in the game that push would be important. And he pretty much gave it to me. But he still can bring that queen, though. That's what I'm concerned about. I don't mind him trading, but I don't want him pushing that pawn. But if he pushes that pawn, I should go for F5 right now. I'm going to go for F5 right now. If he brings that queen, then the queen's trade. I'm going to stick with my plan. I'm going to hit that F5 right off the bat. Okay. I'll take this way first. I should push that pawn. I'm going to push. Watch this. Look Look what he did. So watch how brilliant I'm about to do this dude. So he figured he's going to trick me and then threaten my queen and make. But look at this position for a minute. Since we have time. What if I push that pawn on his rook? Look how brilliant that is. I'm just giving him time. So if I push the pawn on his rook, he take the queen. I rook check him before he get a chance to take my other. Now he, he lost the rook. He's crying right now. In my gritty voice, I'm going to name my album now, yo. He's crying right now. That was a brilliant chess move. I'm not playing. That was a grandmaster level. So when I say I play at that level, I'm not capping. When I say I play master, but I'm not going to call myself a grandmaster, man. You got to have feeder credits for that. I'll definitely play on master level any day. We can look at my performance in this at the end of this tournament, and it'll say like 2,300, 2,400. And grandmaster level is 25. He's, he's thinking, like, how did this dude do this to me? Yeah, my dude. That was tight brilliant. It's a check right there, son. Queen check. Checkmate. Okay, I just check him again. Oh. So, it. oh, man, this guy's a genius. So I better get my, well, I got a rook for free, didn't I? Yep. I took both of his rooks, didn't I? Yep. He lost the rook. Check. Now, let me take this pawn right here. Or should I get my queen in this game? I think I need my... I'm going to put more pressure on him. Make him defend himself more. Yep, that was a brilliant exchange of events. Yes, it was. Mm-mm-mm. I got to think of a monitor. Right now, my ch I got one chess site was real. It's professional because, because I, cause, you know, it's on YouTube and it might be children. But I want to think of a gimmick like the ghetto chess grandmaster, the ghetto grandmaster. Why would you do that, my friend? The ghetto grandmaster. Check. Okay. So I just trap him in there and make him have to push a pawn. Okay, he resigned. Thank you. So I should be in. So I'm going to look at my, um, I'm in, I'm in 11th place. But let's look at my overall performance. Wow, did I lose? My overall performance is only 1953. It's not right. It's all right. I didn't lose. Let me see if I lost the game. Games played four. One way, 75. Oh, I, did I lose? Oh, I had a draw. What happened? Hmm. I just want to win, though. I got to come back now. I've been winning some quick games. That's what's bringing me back towards the top. We only got 27 minutes left. So there's only a few games left. So I got to really be aggressive now. Palm pushing, throwing everything at you. No really time, because usually I play position and principle. Right now, I'm just going to really confuse them, throw everything at them. 
catch him with a checkmate like pop pop or I'll transpose into something positional and just take what I got okay my dude castle let me get ready to castle gotta watch my queen yeah I'm about to say she's kind of loose right there I don't like a queen right there but she's kind of okay because he doesn't have that queen side knight um okay we protect that so what's gonna happen in this game we'll get this black bishop in this game um See if his knight attacks it. If it doesn't, I'll move it back. Okay, he went that way. So I'm gonna pile up on now in this in this position. Now I guess we'll go into. I want to get this turning over, but um, right now we're just attacking his backwards pawn. Where that's the weakest point in his position. That e that d6 pawn. So we're piling up on it. He can't protect it anymore. So if you have a backwards pawn like that, that's why, so my pawn, you want to find a way to push it. He can't, I made it so he can't push it, so he's in a position to just lose it. So I can just keep piling up on it. I don't even have to take it right now. I can bring the rook to d1. I can just keep piling, okay, he's forcing me to take it. The question is, which way am I going to take it? May take it with the um I'm gonna take it with the bishop. Oh, okay. Should I push the pawn? No, do I have to? Let me just put let me just pile up on this. Um I can't move my rook with this phone. I forgot that. We pile up on this square some more. I mean I can't touch that um that corner. I <laughs> crack this phone. Even when I be on IG, sometimes I don't see it because I do IG with a different phone. That might have been a mistake. I mean, that was a mis that was a bad move, if you ask me. Cause now I backed the bishop up, and now he really has to take the knight, and he's gonna lose his rook. If he don't do that, then I'm gonna he's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Okay. So he didn't take the bishop. I'm I'm gonna checkmate him. Watch this. I'm gonna get this one over with. He still can't take the bishop yet. Okay, I could push on you though. You push on that one. I want him to try to. I don't know. This is this is tricky. This is very tricky. But that's a good push. This is very dynamic. I'm playing well. He can't take that. The queen is supporting it. So it's very brilliant. He has to move the bishop back, and then I push the pawn on the knight. And I do my checkmate move. I see a checkmate move. Wait, if I push the pawn on the knight, that's not going to work. So what if I try that move now? Can I push on the knight? Then I push on the knight. He, 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 he has to move the knight to F6 to stop me. Okay, this, this is tricky. Okay, I like this move better. I'm gonna threaten the bishop. Then I push the pawn on the knight, and I'm threatening checkmate, and I get to take. I'm ooh wee. So now, so my knight is aimed. Look how dynamic. And I'm not boasting. I'm just having fun because this for my channel, and I'm a, I smoked a little weed. But look how brilliant this is, yo. So I'm threatening. I'm checking the. I'm threatening taking the black bishop. But my queen and that knight is also threatening the checkmate on g7. If I can push the pawn. So when I push the pawn, he can put it on. F I'm, when I push the pawn, I'm threatening queen with the black bishop. And I'm threatening checkmate on g7. And he can't stop it and save his black bishop right now. <laughs> That's the trick. He can't save his black bishop. He's under, he, So he either loses that black bishop or he gives me the queen. And I, I bet you he can't see that. So he's thinking of a way to save the black bishop. But if he saves it, he loses his queen. That's how brilliant and dynamic this I've been doing this, this setup. I just haven't been pushing pieces. The queen is behind the pawn, but the queen is really looking at that g7 square. The knight is attacking the bishop, but the knight is really looking at that g7 square. That's a checkmate square if that pawn wasn't there. 
So what do you do with the pawn? You push the pawn, and you got the bishop on g3, and you release a discover check against his queen, and he got to stop the checkmate, and he loses the queen. So he, that's what he's looking at. That's why he hasn't moved in a long time. He can see it then. Yeah, because he's 1800, so he's kind of good. So I wish he would just resign and let me get closer to the top. Okay, he didn't believe me. He didn't believe me, y'all. So this is what I was, so can he stop it? Nope, he loses the queen. Well, he loses the rook. Okay, he just loses the rook and the knight. Because now he has, so it's not, it's dynamic. It's a game-winning move, basically. Because even if the bishop comes back and threatens my queen, I take his queen. Oh, he took the bishop. So he didn't see the checkmate. The checkmate, kid. He didn't see it. That shit was mad complicated. That was complicated, yo. So what place am I in? I'm in fourth place. Yeah. Catch they ass. I think my first game I was recording, I made a mistake and went out the game when I was messing with my um AZ screen recorder, man. I lost the first game, but I lost it in seconds. So I'm still, time-wise, I'm still up there with them. But who's ever in first place has 20 points. He's kicking butt. So y'all gonna we gonna see this whole tournament then on, on YouTube on my um Take Back BRC page. But when I put stuff on my New York Chess Club page, that's gonna be um positive stuff because I'm in a chess club in New York called the Marshalls Chess Club. So I'm those people I gotta get those people from Facebook and things like that. And um you know, they don't come for that. Okay, this guy, oh, this is the guy in number one. He's in, he says number two. He was in number one before this started. So if I beat him, I got to bring him down. Because he had 20 points. He was the one beating all of us. So I got to bring him. Oh, he want to go for this opening called the Petrov. I don't like it, though. I'm not doing it. He wants to do the Petrov opening. But I never lose with it, though. Let's do it. Well, he takes my pawn now. This is the Petrov. That he brings the or he, he brings the queen out. If he brings the queen out, okay, yeah. That's another variation of it. Petrov open. It's one of my favorites. I play it very humble. I don't fight the way they I don't play it like like I play real laid back, like, you know, D three, bishop to E two, castle. You know, bishop G five. I trade him down in this position. And it's a and it's a it's such an equal position and it's such a um science to the game that if I'm able to trade a strong player like this down, out in the end of the game, I'll have one tempo ahead of him. It's, the game is that scientific. Let me be careful though. And I, I like how we put both of them bishops on that E file, because it's an open file. I think that's a very bad move. Cause that means I can get I can get control of that file before he can. So you gotta look at stuff like that. Like he has both bishops on an open file. I can control that file. So I don't want to just trade pieces, and I'm not giving him my black bishop, cause he might be a grandmaster or something. I give him my black bishop, then um. He ends up being the one with the um bishop pair. That's not something I want to do. But I don't want to back. I don't want to play too passive though. But if he wants to, if he wants to push that pawn again, go ahead. That means he castle and queen side. But he's oh, he wants to push it again. So he wants to he wants to bum rush my king side. So what you gonna stay in the middle? This guy thinks he's good. He's gonna stay in the middle then, huh? He wanted that bishop that bad, yo. That was that's weird. That's okay though. I need to get more aggressive now, though. I'll go for his bishop. He going, I'm not leaving him with the bishop pair. Remember I said that, so I'm going to stick to that. But if he takes my bishop, I would have to take his bishop first. Because after that, he would have a, a check on my other bishop. I couldn't, um, I couldn't take his bishop. I would have to take his knight first. The question is which way, and I'm going to take it this way. Open the file for my rook. I have more protection against his pawn storm. 
And my rook is open against his king. Now he has to give me that white bishop. And he's going to have to. It's going to be hard for him to castle queen side. He's going to do it though. Yeah, you got to give me that. I ain't leaving you with no bishop pair, my boy. Nah. So how do we continue this? Let me, let me attack him. I'm going to attack that weak point. Now, he, okay, he didn't see it. Yes. Now he can't cast because he get he won a castle so bad he missed that move. Got him. Beat you. That'll be the player this strong. He know he can't beat me now. You ain't getting away from me now, Chuck. Now I'm a trade queen. This move right here forces the queen trade. Since I'm up a piece, since I'm up that pawn and his king can't castle, I'm a trade queen. That forces the queen trade, or he has to give me that knight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. He doesn't have a choice. Man, let me get this rook on this other file. Look how beautiful my game is. This guy is strong, too. Plays this, man. Plays this. Let's innovate. I love this game. I've been playing this on IG for a while, and I don't know if people thought I was just playing the games I win. Like, nah, man. I haven't lost the game. And I'm not saying I don't lose. At this, I thought this guy was going to give me a, a better run for my money. But he did. Let me put this bishop back here. I want to keep an eye on these pawns. Make sure those pawns can't move. And I still got the king check whenever I want it. He's terrified. That's why he traded rooks. He's going to trade the other rook, too. Yeah, he's terrified. You don't want to leave me with nothing. <laughs> Let me get my king into the game. All I did was took a pawn from you, man. What's wrong? I got to watch his knight. I don't want him to mess up my pawn structure. He's looking for any way to come back. He's desperate. He's playing hard. So I come back here to protect the pawn and to keep him from taking the knight and messing up my pawn structure. Then I fix my pawn structure like this. I don't know what he thought he was doing. Now I don't even have to worry about the black bishop. That's a fact. Now I bring my knight into the game. Or my king. Or maybe my king. I bring my king. The king is more powerful than the knight right now. It's a whole fact. When you're, in this, when you're at this stage in the game, you got to make activate your king. I knew that was coming. I just figured I'd step my king on it. It can't go anywhere. Oh, he's going to... Oh, that was a good move, my dude. He's going to get a pawn back, isn't he? Mm-mm-mm. I should have looked at that. Question is, which pawn do I give him? Dang. I didn't even look at that. Oh. That sucks. He definitely gets a pawn. Mm-mm-mm. Let me get my king into this game, like I said, though. That's where he's going to lose. Even though taking that pawn, it's going to backfire because he's, he's not going to be able to get his knight in the game in time. On this move, and then my knight move is going to hurt him. Then this move, if I get these pawns, he in trouble. For real, for real. And I'm about to take him. So he took that pawn. Now all I got to do is make sure he can't do nothing real harmful to me. His knight can go down there and take that G pawn, but that's okay. That's a double pawn. If he can go, for, I'm not giving him the C pawn. So if he goes for the C pawn, um, I just push. Okay, so let me get that. I want both of those. So I'm not giving him the C one. He can take the G one, though. All right, now I get this. Now I'm still up a pawn. Well, I give I can't keep pushing these pawns. So I gotta I gotta actually protect this pawn. Maybe I'll protect the pawn and I'll free the um the H file to push that pawn. Oh, he got me. Darn it. Shucks. I really couldn't afford that either. That was tough, man. Let me see if his knight takes. Oh, that'll be another check. I'm going to try to trick him. I'm going to try to take his knight. That knight getting on my nerves, too. 
I want to see if he takes it. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha! That nigga George. Crazy, son. Got him with that one. Yeah, stop playing with me. Got him. Check. King moving. Check. You're going to get walk yourself in check, man. Keep messing around. Let me go here. See if he pushes the pawn. I just take it. That was brilliant. Okay, he wants to play like that. My king is still more dominant, my friend. Yeah, you can never push that pawn, though. I might have to take that pawn. Now he's going to get in something called zoo swag to where whatever move he make is going to be bad. We get that and that and that. Can't let him push that pawn any farther. So he loses. Good game, George. Man, that don't be capping in chess, yo. I plays this. Let me get that, sir. I do not be capping. That was a brilliant ass game. Now he's trying to offer me a draw. Let's be crazy. Alright, he resigned. That should give me like second or first place. Oh, that wasn't the guy in first place. That was the guy in second place. Now I gotta find a guy in first place. Shucks. That's the only way to get first place. Top three is what I want though. So I can have Jesus' name like Christ the King. Like whoop, whoop. <laughs> That's how I play. Let me get that, sir. I'm about to get him out of here fast. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna play a laid back opening. This guy's. Let me. I gotta defend myself before I even bring these pawns out. Oh, he's coming in. I know what he's trying to do. It's a little bit dangerous. Um, let me pin this knight. It's not gonna work though. I might castle queen side. Let me step on this bishop. Then take that knight. Nah, I don't. Yeah, I do need that knight. Let me hold that. And then let me castle myself. And if he ever push that e pawn, then I just go to d. Um, what he just do? Okay, I'll just go to d5 if it ever comes to that. But I do need to develop. I do need to develop. Let me just sit right here for a minute. I might take this C pawn push after I get my knight and bishop developed. You want to develop your pieces first. Like he's doing, I'm doing. He's in sixth place. I'm in third place. He's he's trying to, um, oh man. He's trying to sacrifice on me. He's going to sacrifice his bishop. I see it coming. Hmm. How can I stop it? He's going to sacrifice. Okay, so I have to back off. This is how you stop that. Once they make the sacrifice, you take it. Then you just bring it. You bring the... I'm, I'm, I'm going to... Oh, it's, it's going to be hard to stop. I'm going to have to get my queen some... It's going to be hard to stop it. I was going to say my other knight will stop it. But it's going to be harder to stop that. Now, he's thinking about it. I really, I really just dared him to do it, basically. I dared him to do that. I dared him to do, make that move. Now he almost has no choice but to do it. Now he's going to do it. And when he do it, I move the rook over so after he do that, I can run away, basically. It's the only reason I move the rook over. But I can actually bring my knight back to F1. I knew he was going to do that crap. Oh, so I can't run away. I see a better move than running away, though. Oh, I meant to push that twice. I meant to push that two times. Okay, so I might lose. Because I meant to push that twice. But that does stop the knight from coming. So either way, I stop him. So it wasn't that bad. My king's still getting away. It wasn't that bad. See, I got away from you. As long as that knight can't come and check me. So I made the right move by mistake. Even pushing it all the way, he would have to take it, and I would have brought my knight in. I still would have stopped him. His check wasn't good. That's why I backed away and let him make it. I backed off. Like, go ahead, my dude. You got that. Now he's going to take the pawn. 
And I'll just, and that, well, if he takes, if he takes, I'll take with the night. I'm not going to be that afraid. But he, 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 he will not checkmate me. No, you won't, dog. That was a bad sacrifice. I ain't no rookie, kid. But I'm glad he did that because I really need this game. I really want and this might be the last game. So I really want to be in the top three because everybody, it's like 500 people and everybody see the top three. And I want them to see the name Christ the King. And right now I'm in third place out of about 500 people. I do not be capping when it comes to chess, man. We, we used to really help the kids before the COVID, man. I seen some kids turn into geniuses, man. You could teach them about God. I used to teach them about the pieces. I used to tell them how the bishops were were like were like their sisters and the knights were their brothers. And if they were that young, I would teach them how to protect their family, how the rooks were their cousins, the 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 um the king and queen were their mother and fathers. And I would teach them how to play the game to where whether they were white or black, they got along. Okay, I gotta watch them because that rook file is open. So I'm in a little bit of danger if his knight comes. His knight comes in the center. I'm in a little bit of danger. I would have to slide my rook over and protect my knight. But I'm okay, though. I'm solid. Yeah, I knew that was coming. But I'm solid, though. I am solid. I just got to make sure my queen is okay. But, when, but then he's going to, okay, I need to step my king away now, then. If he wants to give up the rook, then it's okay. But I need to step, wait, I need to be careful. I need to be careful. Because if, if he checks me, and then I move the king over. Wait, if he checks me, I could just step the king down. And then he'll bishop check me. And I'll lose that rook. I can't do that. I have to be careful this move. This move is very, very important for me. What I do right here. If I step the king away, he takes with the rook. I take with, I don't even take. That's what's going to happen. If I step the king away and he takes with the rook, I may not even take it. Um, I take back with the knight. He takes with the queen check. Um, I block the queen check with the queen. And then he knight checks me and take my queen. Yep, he's trying to be slick. This nigga's nasty. Ain't about to do that shit to me, you know. If I block that with the rook and he queen checks me, I step the king down, then he bishop checks me. And I step the king over. And now I have to step the king over just to protect the queen when he checks me. I'm in a lot of trouble. What if I go in this little bubble right here? You see, I found the right move. I found it. Okay, I, I found the right move. This is the right move right here. I just had to look at that shit. That shit was vicious. But I think that's the right move, definitely. Now, he can night check me, but it it it, bring, it allows me to bring my king out of trouble. And he won't have that queen check anymore. That's all I'm worried. I'm not worried about the knight. He, him getting this okay. I saw that one coming. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I'm going to take this bishop right here. I'm going to surprise him with something. So what he wants to do, he he, he fell asleep. Look, I, I ain't going to say how brilliant I am, but shh, this is how you play chess. Because, okay, so he wants to play games with the pawn. I take, then he knight checks me. But what if I queen take his bishop? That's what he, that's what's hard to see. But this bishop is hanging. And then, then if he pushes the pawn, then my queen, then my queen has somewhere to run. He, then my king can run. He just lost with that move right there. He's gonna take a long time to move too. Why? That was the that was the key move that saved me. So you never panic, but you look at it. Every move I would have made would have been checkmate or something, except for that one move that I made. You just gotta look. Now what are you gonna do? Push the pawn? Now I'm safe because that, that file is he can't he's done. He might as well resign now. He might as well resign. I played that brilliant. And it's the last game. 
What a way to go out, champ. So I didn't lose. I don't be just showing games on IG that I win. I, somebody DM me and said that. Like, yeah, you got to show that. I'm like, you, you lose any? I'm like, yeah, I do. But I like the people that DM me to keep talking. I love teaching chess. I love helping. And I'm and I'm looking for people that want to play. You know, I didn't know there's a lot of us. We BRC is a thinking culture. So you know this is what we do. Let me take it like this so I can um free this bishop. I free the bishop and the rook with that move. Now he can bring his rook down here if he wants. But I'm just gonna lift my rook if he tries that. Then if yeah, this game is over. So he did all of that. Now look at it. Voila. You down the whole piece, champ. You down the whole piece, partner. Let me get my king tucked away. And I ain't going to make no mistakes. If I made it through that, don't think I'm going to make a mistake at this point, my dude. I don't know if our game is the top game. If the other games are over, the whole site is watching this game. That's how um, Lee Chess works. So that means the whole site just saw that and it was brilliant for real for real but i have to um i have to get my position right make sure he doesn't bring this rook down here for a check that's what he wants while i'm talking if i let that mistake rock okay that night that does that does nothing i need to develop this bishop um i need to develop this bishop man and my knight I need this knight in the game too, man. This ain't right. Let me get right. I got how I got more pieces and don't got them in the game. That knight need to be on e4. So when you when you up, you need to regroup. Cause usually when you up, there's a reason. A lot of a lot of people know, like when you're winning in chess. Okay, he's trying to get that pawn over there. When you're winning in chess, or when you do something to take a piece from someone, it's always feel like it's a wave of them coming back. But that's only because by you taking that piece, you're kind of out of position. So all you have to do is really just fix your position before you continue with the game if you if you go up in material. That's a tip grandmasters won't even give you. That's a fact. I say something that'll that'll let me not boast though. Okay, so let me get this knight here. Settle this like men. He's gonna try to lay down. Okay, I knew he was gonna try to do come down here. He double my rooks. He's trying to come. It's, um, the file that his rook is on is one of the best files in the game to control. Okay, so he isn't gonna he isn't gonna quit, is he? He, sh I guess not. This the last game of the tournament, y'all see that? I'm gonna show the whole bracket. This thing is on. Um, this thing is on zero second. We both out of time. The, everybody is watching this. And that's why I like it, because they see Christ the King. Word. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do that. That's his only weakness, because he can't move that pawn or I'll take his knight. So I'll take that pawn for free. Or he pushed the pawn, the other pawn, and I pushed. I'm going to do something. I'm going to take it with my knight. He can't even push the other pawn. <laughs> he in trouble. So he loses that pawn. So he, his game just fell apart with that move I just made. That was the best move on the board, actually. Because he can't move that pawn or he loses his knight. So I just take the pawn. I have to take it. I don't want to take it. That's a corny pawn to have. I really don't want that pawn. Yes, I do. No, I don't. I really don't want this. Can't do nothing with it. I'm just moving pieces. There's nothing he can pretty much do at this point. Can't do nothing with that pawn, but try to find a way to push that thing. And um, that's what I'm about to do. Push it. I just got to make sure his knight can't do any tricks. I need to push that pawn to d3. Um, His rook is out of, everything is out of pocket. My king hiding behind my castle like where he's supposed to be. Okay, so he's piling up on that. I respect that. I can't let you do it, but I respect it. So I protect it again. Okay, he's going for a queen. I gotta watch him. Huh? Oh, I can't even, let me get this knight out of here. What do you think? He, he might push his pawn. Let's see how he plays this. 
I almost made a mistake and took that pawn. I forgot his knight was there. I thought he would do that. But that's okay. He still can't. Um, yeah, I knew he would do that. Should I take it? He takes. Then I step up on the pawn. I bet I can't do that, my friend. Um, if I don't take it, I'm not going to take it. And he's going to have to protect it. And his knight is just going to be so passive trying to protect that thing. Eventually, I'll move his knight. He's got to make sure his other pawn don't get, you no, know, his other two pawns. So I got to push my queen side pawns because those two pawns he got are very dangerous. But at the end of the day, I'll just give him his piece back for both of those pawns. So it's really nothing. That's just the balance of the game that he got for those, that piece I took. Okay, my friend. Tough. Let me, um... How am I going to protect that? I can protect it here now. Since everything has to move, I can just keep my rook here for a little while. Since that pawn isn't in danger anymore. Now I'm going to start pushing on this knight. I need to find a way to do that. But first, let me get this white bishop out. <clears throat> His knight can never move. So I got to go threaten that knight with my white bishop. I'm going to end up having to trade that white bishop for those pawns. So I got to get my white bishop to the other side of the board to stop those pawns. To stop that H pawn. At the same time, okay, he's coming. Oh, he's smart. This guy's a genius, man. Where do I go? So he forced me to go back. All right, so he's not gonna let me do that. Is he gonna? So he's gonna go back and protect the pawn. What's he gonna do here, sir? Okay, fair enough. So let me get my king. I think my, my rook and my knight can handle this side of the board. I think. I think my king can go into this fight. Once you get those pawns rolling, my knight and my rook should be able to handle them. Yep, I'm not even going to worry about it. Not going to worry about that one bit. Okay, I should have worried about that. Well, I knew I was going to, oh, man, well, he don't realize that was a bad move. That's why I didn't worry about it, but that's a check, bro. What are you doing? Got to move your king out the way before you do that, fam. Check. Not just go right back. That's why I said that was a bad move. He too hyper. He playing too well. I'm trying to coach him, like, play better, son. You in sixth place. Whichever one of us win, probably take third place. When you take third place, they show the trophy for this tournament. And it's, I'm sure it's about a thousand people in this tournament. From all over the world, about a thousand people. And my nobody drunk ass just came in third place. If I win this. This is probably the only game still going on, man, this dude. He think I want the knight. I want that pawn. I mean, he think I want this pawn. And I do. Check. And I'm going to go back. I do want that. I ain't lying. I ain't never lied to you. Where am I going to go now? Where am I going to continue this? Um, Let me go here. Check. I'm going to have to go back, but I just want to see where he moves that. I really don't have to go back. Let me take this, too. He really can't do nothing to me. He might as well quit. Let me keep that right there. I'm just going to push that pawn. My knight is protecting the bishop. Ain't worried about that. I do got to move my king away from that bishop, though. So if he ever tries to trade knights, that, that won't be a check. But other than that, he done. <clears throat> yeah, I do need to move that king. I'll probably pin his knight and just take his knight. Then I don't have to worry about anything. He's trying to offer me a draw. What a weirdo. No. You must be crazy. You only got 31 seconds and I'm winning. You think I'm going to draw you? He's, he's pushing that draw button. He don't want the world to see. What does this say? Or oh, say claim victory. He, he left the game. Thank you, sir. Christ the King, second place, baby. Now let me chill. <laughs> I tased it. 
I wasn't finished looking at that. Damn. I want to see that, man. The fit. I wasn't finished looking at that. Completed. I want to see that. We did it. Let me see what my performance was. My performance was 2092. That's not what I want. That's about master. Master is 2200. Grandmaster is 20. But I, I lost that earlier game. My performance in that would have been about 2400. For sheesh. Look at that. So Christ the King, six games played. Win rate, 83%. The guy that came in first place had an 80% win rate. The guy that came in third place had played better than both of us. But, um. I don't know how he didn't win. He must have came real late. Me and him got the exact same performance, too. Me and him got the highest performance. His performance, 2092. But I came in second place, man. That was dope. How many people was in this thing, man? 446 people, bro. That shit was hard. I'm about to take a nap. I'll see y'all, peace.